Goshiki. 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 Yeah. <laughs> we Americanize it with Goshiki. Go, yeah. Go. The, Amer the Americans, they like to say Goshiki. 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 Okay. Well, tell yeah. us about Goshiki. Goshiki. Uh, Goshiki is one of my favorite varieties. I say that about like all the varieties. I know. I, I was just going to say, like you've said that on every yeah. episode we've ever shot. There's, there's probably a variety that I don't really, isn't my favorite. But um, no, Goshiki really has a special place in my heart. Um, uh, one of the best breeders in Japan of Goshiki mm -hmm. is Koda Koi Farm. Yeah. And Koda is you know, one of my best friends. And uh, he's like my, like my guy I go to while I'm in Japan. And he's, so, he specializes in this. Specializes in Goshiki. Uh, and this is, is his Goshiki. Not, so it's this is like his. That's what he's known for, or is just he's known for many things, and this just happens to be one of them. He 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 actually breeds 17, 18 different varieties. That, I, uh, but his <clears throat> he's famous for his Goshiki and his Ginrin Showa. Like that's what wins koi shows. Okay. Um, whenever he has fish, and this is a this is a great example of a Goshiki, and not a normal type of Goshiki that he breeds. So he, he, his farm is very famous for what we call Kuro Goshiki. Kuro Goshiki is a really, really dark black Goshiki. I'm pulling up for you in a little bit. Okay. Um, this is a, a very modern or like new style Kendai. We've used that before, I think, mm -hmm. talking about Showa. Yeah. This is a very Kendai style Goshiki. Uh, so if you notice, Goshiki is, uh, we've talked about this before, it's a five color fish, right? And so it has a white base, a white a white um, body with like a kohaku pattern and then uh, a netting on top of it. And historically that netting has been really, really, really dark. Um, I was trying to find some um, some pictures for you guys of some examples of old Goshiki, because Goshiki date back again from like the 1920s. Okay. Uh, but then uh, they pretty much, I think were like magoi, like black kind of carp with yeah. some red that peaked out. And so, even as late into like the 1980s, uh, Goshiki weren't very popular because they, they would look really pretty in the summertime, is what I understand. Because in the summer, um, the black color goes down and we see more of that red. Yeah. And then wintertime, black comes back and it's Jet kind black, of yeah. a kind of a you know black fish with some maybe some red hiding under it, right? Yeah. So it's really cool because like in just the last like 15, 20 years. We've gone from a pretty much black fish that had a little bit of red peeking through it to something as you know delicate as this koi. So we say five colors. Explain the five colors because you know to the average person it looks like three colored fish to us. Yeah, so. sure, sure, sure. So um, so when I say goshiki, I see the obviously the white, which isn't really a color, but we have white, we have the red, um, we have gray, uh, which is that that shadow. Right. Um, that shadow then becomes uh, black, right? So uh, that's four, and that uh, this co this koi comes from a, a soggy bloodline, so blue is also a color. Okay. So um, although um, uh, our eyes kind of pretty much just see the three colors, it's a uh, that black, gray, and blue make the others. Okay. And you have to make the distinction between them because you need a little bit of all of them to really make that complete package of goshiki. Yeah, absolutely. Because this, this color here isn't like at all like a sanke or a showa. It's a completely different kind of sumi. Right. Um, uh, so it's, and that's what makes it so beautiful. So here we have Kota Koi Farms uh, new style goshiki. And it's just a perfect example of, of a new style goshiki. It has that great uh, white, white body that we see really solid Kohaku pattern um, and then it's just it has this beautiful delicately refined um, sumi like the you can see the black on each of these on each scale like right at the base of the scale and as it matures it'll get a light like a lighter gray color that'll follow through it should never turn completely black like the old style or kurogoshiki um, it'll always have sort of a more of like an asagi type pattern uh, of netting. The other really cool thing to look at in, in Goshiki in general is the awesome, awesome, awesome kiwa. Kiwa is the, the scales that we have on the back of the pattern. 
And if you notice, it looks, it looks like someone just took a knife and kind of cut out a cool pattern and then like in a sticker sort of placed it as a wrap over the koi. It, it's almost three-dimensional. Can we consider her a three-step Kohaku even though that that patch of red in her tail touches the last two islands? Uh I would I would probably call her a two-step. Two-step. Yeah. Yeah. But as she as she matures and the uh, and the body grows, that might actually separate. And then if that separates, then uh, then it should definitely be a three-step. You say it's um, a soggy. Have we talked about have we talked about what made it? She said Ma magoi, and then... But, but yeah, oh! We, we, there's the soggy bloodline right there. Yeah, again. exactly, right? <laughs> I was going to try to block it, you know. Like, okay, uh, so a soggy bloodline. A soggy we see and, that. and akasanke. Uh, akasanke or akabeka. So it's like a completely red fish with um, black footprints of sumi. And so they cross that with an asagi um, and uh, arrive to this sort of magoi with red pattern underneath of it. Um, and again, that was, that was in the 20s, and I don't think much changed uh, up until uh, Hiroi, who's also, he's still a modern Goshiki breeder now, um, in the late 50s and 60s, started uh, really, really focusing on Goshiki and like changing the way the, way, the, way the fish looks and makes, making it as beautiful as it is today. So new style was completed, you said 70s, 80s, right? Mm -hmm. But this delicate variety is a little bit farther down the line, right? Right, right. Yes, yeah, so this is only only recently. Yeah, within the last. I've only seen these, just me personally, and so they might, might have existed beforehand. But I've only seen these for maybe ten years. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there's there's just more evidence that it takes two decades, twenty five years to like develop something to where they want it to get, right? Absolutely, and not just have a one off koi. Right. right. So maybe they can get one that looks really pretty. She's out. She's out. Let's get the let's get the dark variety in here. The, yeah. the old school, right? Yeah, exactly. Let's do that. 